The Harco project culminates this summer with its final meeting in San Sebastian, Spain. The project, funded by the European Commission, comprises a team of experts who are working to research and develop adaptive and smart machining that will revolutionise the machine tools industry to improve Europe's manufacturing competitiveness. The team met earlier this year at the University of Huddersfield to see demonstrations of the university's structural monitoring module. Senior Research Fellow Dr Andrew Longstaff talks about the work undertaken at the university. Your role in ARCO project uh, is uh, well aligned with the uh, Huddersfield University background mm. on metrology measurements and uh, I think you are developing something really interesting from uh, the machine tool uh, industry point of view. Uh, do you feel uh, you reach uh, the target you have in mind at the beginning of the project? Yeah, I think um, I think we'd say we probably exceeded it um, in terms of we've we've used the mature technology, which was what we intended to use, but we've also developed some new sensors and new ways of doing it that I think we'd hoped to achieve, but we've actually gone further than we expected. What I feel really different uh, in Uddersfield from other academic partners is that uh, you have uh, a very market-oriented approach. Mm. You are looking for uh, real application, you are looking for customers and investors. Uh, this attitude is somehow reflected uh, within uh, the ARCO development. Yes, I mean we, we have worked with a, a wide range of companies from large multinational blue chips to small um, end users and because of that we're aware that that more, some are more cost conscious than others. Um, so the solutions that we're providing, because they are modular, we can apply to very expensive machines and where appropriate, uh, a more cost effective solution for small machines. And uh, beside the uh, application we had in mind at proposal stage, uh, do you feel that uh, some other industrial field could take profit uh, of what you are doing now for ARCO? Yeah, for sure, certainly in manufacturing is our main focus, but not necessarily just on machine tools. So monitoring um, the foundations of large machines, um, robots, understanding um, the effects on coordinate measuring machines and metrology labs, this is all very important and all can fit in with what we have developed. So essentially you have a clear idea of what will be the future of uh, each of your research uh, branches. Uh, is that true? Yes, um, we, we see further developments. Um, I think always we must keep pushing onwards, but I think from this we already have a clear route to market with some of the key players that we, we work with at the moment. As an academic partner, what is your feeling about uh, this uh, European uh, uh, framework program uh, to fund uh, the research uh, is something uh, really important uh, across Europe. Very much so. I mean, we as a university have worked with UK industry a lot. Getting the European perspective, being able to work with the companies on the project, but also other research institutes gives us such a broad um, range of inputs. It's a, it's a perfect alignment as far as we're concerned. So. Now that we are so close to the end of the project, uh, what's the balance? Uh, you are satisfied with uh, what has been done? You uh, would like to do something more in the future? Mm. Uh, uh, go forward with the research we, we started here? Yeah, for sure. The, um, the technology, definitely, there's, there's great potential there um, and we will take that further forward. Um, and also the partnership, the, the consortium that has been built up has, has made us um, friends with institutes and companies across Europe and we would like to do more things, perhaps following on from this or perhaps diversifying. DVST is a consultancy and technology provider to the manufacturing sector and specialises in conceiving, implementing and optimising effective manufacturing systems and automation. Under the supervision of Director Andy De Vick, the company has been developing an adaptive damping system to reduce vibration. In uh, ARCO project uh, you have been responsible for the development of some amazing technologies uh, in what we call the functional bricks. Uh, 
so elementary elements, uh, let me say, that uh, are going to compose higher level modules and can be recombined uh, according to different layout uh, and according to different applications. What is surprising me, me a lot uh, is that uh, some of your devices can really be employed in completely different uh, task and industrial application. Can you give us uh, a, an overview of what we have done? Yes, uh, we, we have been targeting uh, a number of uh, modules uh, that can go together to form, form adaptronic modules that will be useful in a, a range of very different applications. But the fundamental building blocks are quite simple. Basically, what we need is compact solutions for uh, actuators, uh, but unfortunately what we tend to find is we very often need compact actuators which have quite high force capability and that isn't something that is, is always available in, in what's currently on the market. We also want to have uh, displacement transducers, very often we need to measure where something has gone if it's, a, if it's something where we're, we're trying to do a, any sort of a displacement to regain a position. Uh, and the other area that we, we find is uh, very important to us is in elements that can help us uh, deal with dynamics problems in machines because very often in these days with higher speed machines and very accurate machines it's the dynamics of the machine which limit the uh, capabilities. So we're quite interested in, in vibration control in various means. So we are interested in using simple devices like passive dampers but making them adaptable by tuning them. Uh, so to this end we also then need to have actuators to tune the dampers. So we have developed a range of quite, quite different simple bricks, but they can be combined together to produce different, more, slightly more complex devices. Always, we hope, at low cost, or always we hope very robustly, and always we hope with high performance. So the sorts of things we've got now, we have a very compact, flat pancake actuator, uh, we've made it a, as a, a hydraulic actuator, which is driven by a, a servo drive rather than a conventional pump. So we get away with all the need to have uh, conventional hydraulics there. Uh, we've made a whole family of these for different applications. We've made some rather interesting uh, displacement sensors based on fibre optics that allow us to measure uh, in various numbers of axes. So we can make a one axis one for a straight displacement in, in one axis, or we can make a two axis one which will give us displacement and tilt, uh, or a three axis one. Uh, and we have also made a very simple uh, tunable damper. And it's a tunable damper based on uh, rubber, elastic spring elements that also provide the damping. FIDIA is a manufacturer of computer numerical control systems and milling machine tools. As the industrial partner of the Harco project, their role has been to develop and integrate adaptronic modules for the reduction of static and dynamic errors of machine tools, as Enrico Tamburini from the company's research and development department explains. So, a balance after three years uh, of project, uh, uh, we have seen several things coming up, uh, uh, big developments, uh, big potential, as an end user, the industrial partner of uh, Arco Project, what do you think uh, uh, is coming up uh, and what will be the future? The Arco Project is um, uh, exploitation oriented, I mean, from the very beginning of the project. So uh, uh, it has been easy to find from the very beginning an exploitation path for uh, all the uh, modules and components uh, that are uh, characterizing the um, result of the project. Uh, this means, from my point of view, that um, um, it has been quite easy to find uh, the, um, the exploitation potential of the, of, of the project result. Uh, as far as my specific field is concerned, I mean, um, high-speed uh, milling machine tools. I have to say that uh, two out of the uh, several exploitable results of the project, uh, namely the active uh, platform for compensating vibration and the uh, micro-positioning table, are really 
uh, of huge potential as far as exploitation is concerned. Um, the key for this exploitation is not only um, uh, hidden uh, uh, behind uh, specific results of, of uh, technological result of this component, but also are uh, hidden behind the uh, intrinsic concept of modularity that is char characterizing uh, both the platform and uh, the table. Um, the, the fact that we uh, are able to demonstrate it, them on, on a specific machine, of course, uh, show, shows the applicability to that machine itself. But um, uh, it, is, it is very clear and very easy to demonstrate that uh, these results are easily portable to other machine tools, other size of machine, or other uh, kind of machine within the, um, the specific FIDIA uh, um, uh, portfolio of machine tools, but also uh, outside the, this project, this ARCO project. So the, the, this is, uh, I think, the most important thing concerning exploitation, modularity as a key for exploitation. Gianmaro Manea, the project leader for Harco, has been delighted with the success of the project and the partnerships created, particularly the bridge between research and industry. And as the project now nears its conclusion, he feels that Harco has established the perfect platform for future development and research. Tell us uh, a little about um, uh, the impact that the Harco project is going to have. Well, I think that uh, within the future of uh, the future initiative, what has been asked by the European Commission is to introduce really outstanding technologies capable to change the way we are manufacturing things, consumer goods, uh, for the automotive, for the aerospace and so on. It's really important to maintain competitiveness in Europe and uh, as part of the recovery plan for Europe, I think that projects like ARCO can give real answer not so far from industrial application. This is one of the main targets uh, driving all the projects uh, and we think we are well aligned with the Commission tools on that. The HARCO project uh, is nearing completion. Uh, uh, you're coming to the end, I think, in June uh, in San Sebastian. Um, where do you see the future uh, for a project or similar projects after that? Well, I think that uh, uh, the exploitable results within the project uh, reach uh, uh, different uh, technological readiness level. That means that some of them still need some uh, further research that can be in generally funded research or private research. Other results are close uh, to an industrial development uh, and maybe some uh, fundraising activities could be of uh, great importance. Other results are definitely so close to commercial products that we are really satisfied about them. Uh, so there are these three different ways uh, to proceed in the future after a project. For sure we are aiming to uh, apply for a new proposal uh, under the uh, Horizon 2020 new work program that should come at the end of the year. So there are different ways to uh, promote and foster the innovation related. The Harco project has brought together um, numerous uh, different partners uh, from uh, academia uh, through to uh, industrial users. Um, how uh, have they all fitted together and, uh, and what benefits has that uh, brought to the project? Well, as a project coordinator, I must admit that this has been one of the best projects I ever managed in terms of uh, uh, friendship with the, with the other partners. Uh, we know each other from a very long time, thanks to previous projects and so on, and uh, I think that in this case the consortium is not only well balanced with the proper uh, skills uh, and know-how, but uh, it is composed by excellent uh, uh, researchers and professors 
and uh, uh, people from the, from the industry, all with the same commitment uh, to achieve results. Uh, this is not uh, uh, so common uh, in funded research. Uh, I'm really happy uh, to have found such a condition within Harco.